One of my biggest life goals ever is to see Stevie Nicks in concert, and she's getting pretty old, so we decided to go um, now, and we're going to see her in like two hours. And I'm so excited. Um, we're in the Marriott, and I'm, it's just, it's beautiful. We're staying tonight and tomorrow to um, go to the Phipps Aquarium slash, um, I wanna say, Greenhouse, I, would, I think. Greenhouse, yeah, it's the Greenhouse. Look at this view, look at this view. Well, that view, <laughs> not, not this view. Okay, bye. <laughs>
All right, here's up, you guys. So as you guys can tell, this weekend has been crazy. Um, I have barely vlogged because my dad was with me the whole weekend and um, he does not like it whenever I vlog. Uh, guys, I need to talk to you about how much I love Stevie Nicks. So I've been a fan of hers for quite a while and I've always loved Stevie, but I've, she's never been like an idol of mine. Like an idol of mine is like Adele. Like I just love Adele. She's such a humble person. She's amazing and beautiful and just mother-like and everything that I would ever ask for in an idol until I went to her concert yesterday and she really impacted my life. Um, if you did not read the Instagram post that I posted about this whole situation, do so because it explains all of it more in detail. Um, Stevie Nicks is truly inspirational to me at this point because of what she said in her concert. Stevie Nicks got on stage and she's so humble. She is like, hey guys, and like she doesn't need, kind of like Adele, she doesn't need big dancers or any, any, um, you know, strip, stripping people in the background. Um, but what humbled me most about her performance was whenever she got on stage and started talking about, uh, how she wrote the song New Orleans. And she goes, there was a hurricane coming and she saw, she saw in the news, like, about New Orleans, um, being affected by a hurricane. And, uh, she said, um, Something about, I can't remember exactly what she said. It was, there's so much, so many positive and, and awesome things that she said, but one of which was that hurricane doesn't care if you're rich or if you're ugly or if you're short. I can't remember the exact quoting. Actually, I think the show that we did, like the show that she had at our city at Pittsburgh, um, is online. It inspired me because it made me realize that life is too short to worry about the mundane, tangible, physical things. Okay, so that was my little speech. We also went to Phipps, um, a greenhouse in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and I wanted to show you guys what I got from there. I'm going to go to a birthday party, but I never gave you guys a plant thing, like what plants I got. And actually, I kind of forgot anyways, so. Um, this bag fell earlier. So, I've wanted this kind of plant. It's called a Haworthia for a long time. This is a Haworthia. I think it's called like a zebra stripe Haworthia. Not exactly sure. Um, I have a really bad room for succulents, except for one spot, and that's where like my window and my lamp, my nightstand meet, and so I have my aloe there and it's doing really, really good. So I'm hoping that this do really, really well in that same spot. And it's also really healthy. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay, they're kind of like flimsy, but this little tiny pot is really cute. And I need to find like little pebbles to put in here so they stand up straight. I actually trained my aloe whenever I first got it to stand up straight because it was really, really lanky. So I had to train it, um, but that's a different story. And then lastly, I don't know if this is a succulent or not. Let me know in the comments if you do know. It is like this leafy thing. It looks kind of more like just like a like a fern type thing. I don't I don't really know, but if you look, it has like little heart leaves. I don't know. I saw it and I thought it was really really cute. I know that necklaces and jewelry in general are really really controversial. Like guys aren't supposed to wear rings, which honestly, like I, if I want to wear something, I will wear it. Um, but I want to explain the purpose behind mine because everyone always like well You just want to be like hipster. I'm like actually no a lot of my neck actually all of my necklaces have a purpose through every necklace I wear Ever has a purpose. I have crystal necklaces for obvious reasons um, All different kinds rose quartz clear quartz turquoise how light uh, black agate tiger's eye that kind of stuff um, And then I have these ones which actually these are my like kind of like my sacred necklaces This charm gets switched out a lot depending on what my mood is with this ring this key gets switched out with this ring a lot so it depends on like what my mood is but my key is representative of um me holding the key to my happiness um because i found that recently i've been really really negative for no reason um and then the moon is actually me and my girlfriend both have the same one except hers is the opposite side of the moon it's either waxing or waning i can't remember um and then i have my quartz crystal hey guys so i just realized it's now like 12 o'clock at night and i have not finished my vlog so um yes i just got back from a party not just got back like probably about an hour ago honestly i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys uh um i don't know where i was going i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up i know that a lot of you guys love cb next just as deeply as i do and I wanted to share my experience with you guys and plants and I went to the conservatory and um, I went to a party and I hope you guys enjoyed it and yes so until next time guys my name is Joey and I love you so much thank you for like 5,500 I love you people <laughs> honestly